trade I'm execute of the code call forms and this is going to be my first programming TUD. It's going to be a simple program that writes hello code call on the screen. <laughs> you just want to open your compiler. I'm using Visual C++ 2005. Microsoft lets you have this free from their website. All right, you're going to want to select Win32 console application for this. And we're just going to put in uh, the first app. You can put my first app, doesn't matter what you name it. Next, you want to select empty project because we don't want all those extra files confusing you at the moment. Next, you're going to go to source files, right click, add new item. Make sure C file is selected. And I'm just going to put code.c the .c extension is a C source file extension rather than CPP which is the C++ source file extension I'm going to start off with the first line pound include is a preprocessor directive it's telling the program to go look up this header file so we can use the C standard input output functions this is uh, the main function every C program has this they at least need to have this they can have more than one of these though not main but other functions followed by two curly brackets and inside these curly brackets we are going to put statements which the program will execute when it does this function print f is a keyword that is going to tell the program to write whatever text we want as a string to the screen we want it to write hello code call Now we follow this statement by it with a semicolon. Generally, if not all, statements in C are followed by semicolons. If you don't, you're going to get a lot of errors. Return zero is, t is a statement telling us that the program executed successfully. It's going to close. It. All right, now let's run our program and see what it does. All right, as we can see, it printed hello code call, but it also printed press any key to continue. This is basically standing by to wait for us to hit a key so it can close. Now they're on the same line, and that doesn't look too neat, so let's clean that up a bit. We're going to go back to the printf statement. Inside the quotations, we're going to put backslash n. This backslash is an escape character. It's telling us, it's telling the program that it's going to do something out of the ordinary, so not to print this next character. The next character is N, which stands for new line. So it's telling it to go to the next line before it prints any more text. And there we go. There's your first application. <laughs> hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something.